Picture a 46 billion parameter brain that only wakes up 2.5 billion of its neurons for any given thought. That's clear 46 billion model for you. This model is a sparse mixture of expert model from Koi Clear team at Koishu built to hit dense model performance without dense model cost and that is what we are going to install locally in this video and we are going to test it out. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and try becoming a member as that helps a lot. I have been covering models from this Koi team for quite some time and they have been evolving slowly but steadily. So I'm quite curious to see what exactly they have done in this relatively larger model. This model was trained on 22 trillion tokens with a progressive curriculum, starting with broadly filtered web data, ramping up math coding stem to sharpen reasoning, and then finishing with synthetic reasoning heavy and long context material. So uh, on the surface, it can reason well and scale to real workloads. There is a base model and there is an instruction tuned model with direct preference optimization with a reasoning enhanced variant on the way. Let's get this instruct model installed. I am going to use this Ubuntu system. I have one GPU card NVIDIA H100 with 80 GB of VRAM. If you're looking to rent a GPU or VM on very good price, you can find the link to masked compute in video's description with a 50% discount coupon. Now, I also want to introduce you to our very good friends at iGent who are sponsoring this video. iGent is the world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application to build and deploy a custom AI workforce. Okay, so now let's get this thing installed. The tool which I'm going to use in order to run this is VLLM, which is one of the fastest inference engine. If you don't know what that is and how to get it installed, just go to my channel, search with VLLM and you should be able to find this video, which will enable you to become a hero from zero in no time. Okay, so let's um, get the model underway. And this is a simple command to serve this quite clear model on my local system at port 8000 and I'm just using one GPU, GPU here. And the model is now being downloaded. There are 19 shards of it. While it downloads, let's talk a bit more about this model and what exactly is happening because there are a lot of mixture of expert models these days. So it is very important to learn the difference. So architecturally, you can think of it as many specialists, few on call. So there are 256 experts which live in the feed forward stack of this model, but only eight experts plus one shared expert or router expert is activated per layer during inference. That gives you 46 billion total parameter, yet just 2.5 billion active per token. So that is how it is taking less memory and I'm able to run it on one GPU. The transformer architecture is there with the tension and everything where each layer, you know, each um, word or token corresponds to another one. There are 32 layers with hidden size around 2K and there are 32 attention heads <clears throat> and four key value pair. It also uses some grouped key value. The vocabulary is around 151,000, which is quite good. And so it means that you can work with long form context window. And it also has a mixture of expert interme intermediate size of around 896 for the expert. So all in all, we can say that it has got a dense level quality where it has it consumes less compute and also uh, the deployment economics is actually makes sense for a lot of environment but we will check out its performance too on few of the benchmarks to see how exactly it performs let's see where it is almost downloaded let's wait and the model is now being served let's do the inference also, let me quickly check the VRAM consumption on the local system as the model is fully loaded onto the GPU. So it is almost consuming everything on my GPU. As you can see, it is just around 97% consumed, close to 79 gig of VRAM is there. Okay, so I'm just going to go into my inference code and I will also show you what it looks like. 
and this is the inference code which i'm going to use and in a typical open ai compatible api fashion i'm just getting this quite clear model and then i am asking it that it is a helpful coding assistant and you can change the system prompt as per your use case but the prompt is to create a self-contained html file using p5.js that features a colorful animated paper airplane zooming dynamically across the screen in random direction so it should be one html file let's run it from the terminal and it is not generating the code as you can see in my terminal it was very quick it is running with vllm which is always very fast let's wait for it to finish and then i will open it in the browser it's almost there there you go okay so it should have created the index.html file let me open it in the browser here there you go so it's a paper plane sort of but it is leaving the trail physics is quite good graphics are quite good and when i click on the screen you can see it also does the firework so very quick the quality is not less than any other good model these days like Gwen and other few others gpt uses you see things have moved a lot improved a lot even Quai has done wonderfully well here i would see when look at the direction it's random it goes here and just zips across the screen very quickly so pretty impressive okay let's check the multilinguality okay for the next one i'm going to check the multilinguality i'm not sure if it is multilingual or not but we will check so i'm asking it to translate this clinging to the past is like holding on to smoke sentence into all the languages and uh, which are mostly top spoken in the world and then i have also included some of the scandinavian and a gibberish just a test uh, or tease test to the mod model as how it goes about it let's run this and the model has come back with the response now this is your homework you have to check your language and tell me in the comments if it is correct or not um, on the basis of my past experience i think most of it it has got correct but uh, again uh, i will take your advice i can't check every each one of them during the video but you know what some uh, where i think there are some visual mistakes but maybe due to the font here uh, i don't know so i think this is for example it has made the mistake this is not smoke this is sunlight so there might be mistakes there but i think they haven't really specified any multilinguality but still i think not bad at all so you see there are a lot of languages there it has tried to put some of the font to you know i think at some places it has failed so let me know what do you think what your language says here is it correct or not and there you go so i think these are the ones so this is a scandinavian one too and gibberish so gibberish is quite interesting always it has done good there okay so i think finally let's do one creative writing test so for this final test what i'm doing here i'm testing the model for its strategic thinking under pressure ability to turn messy business signals into a single defensible plan i'm also testing if it has got the skill at blending narrative craft with hard numbers and if it could do some ethical judgment on ai transparency versus speed so you see that i'm asking it to become a chief strategy officer at some mid-market b2b SaaS company and then there is some context around what that company is and it needs to write a narrative style internal memo to uh, the executive team uh, that doubles as a business fable so it is just about a fictional marketplace and real strategic crossroad and then a lot of other context around weaving the story as how model goes about it and so it is a one to two page story set in a bustling port city and i'm also giving it a lot of other stuff that it needs to do around strategy and as i mentioned around milestones metrics and converting strategy into owner okay so let's go and run this and model has got right into it so i will just let it run for a bit so that you could see i'll just go at the top you see the port of meridian a fable of strategy speed and trust tldr that we are facing a classical strategic crossroad 
our growth is slowing, margins are under pressure, and a new competitor is eroding our enterprise wins. And then it is writing the story. And you just focus on how fluent and how much compelling the story is. And it is not only uh, illuminating the core concept, it is not at all obscure. It is talking about CAC, NRR, win rate data, there you go. You know, even numbers are there, explicit trade-offs with alternatives compared head to head. And then it is again telling the whole story, dilemma, strategic option, and then 12 months roadmap with measurable targets, as you can already see here. And it is also telling us all the balanced risks mitigation and a confident human voice is oozing through it. Really, really good stuff. This is the ask from all the CE levels. So there you go. So it is good that they are, they'll be working for a change. It is also talking about meet the rule of 40. Amazing, amazing stuff. So look, I think I'm very impressed by the model. Let me know what do you think. I will drop the link to it in video's description. Please like the video and consider subscribing. And more importantly, please become a member as that helps a lot. Thank you for all the support.